we go. Here is the water python. Bright yellow belly, but on top they're just kind of brown. It seems like they're olive color. Most of the snakes here in Darwin come in a variety of colors. They come in brown, ah, light brown, and dark brown. You're going to get my arm now, aren't you? It's okay. I'm going to let him go in this water hole right here, and hopefully we'll get some good pictures of him. He might just kind of go to the bottom and hold his breath forever. And as a bonus, we've got this little python. Itty bitty newborn hatchling water python. Oh, he's so cute. Don't you just want to kiss him? It's okay. These are black headed pythons. They're from Northern Australia and they get three meters long, maybe on the back of his neck. He might have gotten a fight with a monitor. See that scar? He might have eaten the monitor. The monitor turned around and grabbed him or something. What a crazy snake. lizard aren't you? Do the squibbles. In traveling the world it's always important that you try the local foods and eat what the locals eat. And that's why we're going to do Uncle Toby's Creamy Honey Oats. Mmm. And Kellogg's Just Right. Mmm. And Kellogg's Crunchy Nut. frilled dragon. This is the guy that inspired the Jurassic Park Velociraptor with the frill. He's got a little bit of scarring on the end of his face and part of his frill on the other side has been a little bit torn, unfortunately. I think he was hit by a car, but it looks like it happened a long time ago. He wasn't run over by the tires. They stand up on the road really tall and I think maybe a car hit his head, but it looks like it's healing. The reptiles have a tremendous healing ability. So we're gonna be optimistic that this guy is gonna heal. But for now, let's go outside and get some photos of him on this termite mound. Maybe we'll get him to frill up and hopefully he'll run away and be a uh, healthy lizard to live to stand up and defend his ground another day.
<laughs> I got a feeling he'll be all right. Look at you. That's every bit of two meters. Aren't you pretty? Hi. Aren't you pretty? That's brown snake. That's a bad dude right there. This one is the olive python, long slender python compared to the uh, water python and the children's python. This one's much skinnier in, in girth. A little nippy at first when I picked him up off the highway, but now that he realizes it's Hank, he's chilling out and enjoying the hang. No pun intended with the hang. One of the tricks to hold in these pythons, especially these more arboreal type ones is let them hang onto you. You don't really clasp them. You kind of let your hands behave more like a, a tree and see they hang onto you. It's when you grip them that they see how they get kind of more nervous when you grip them. So you let them hang onto you. I wish I could spend more time with you, but uh, you belong in the wild and it's gonna give me joy in my heart to see you crawling away. Hopefully you'll 
won't crawl away too fast.